Dr. Jenks, Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jen. I'm so glad you came to see me. Today's story is about a little boy who longs to be bigger. He watches everything around him grow, but feels that he himself isn't growing. Are you curious about what happened? Don't forget to watch all the way through, because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? The Growing Story by Ruth Krauss, illustrated by Helen Oxenbury. A boy and a puppy and some chicks were all very little. Summer was coming. Buds grew on the trees. The grass began to grow. On the side of the barn, flowers began to grow. The little boy said to his mother. Everything is growing. The grass is growing. The flowers are growing. The trees are growing. He asked her, "Will the chicks grow?" "Of course," his mother replied. He asked her, "Will the puppy grow?" "Of course," his mother replied. He asked her, "Will I grow too?" "Of course, you'll grow too." His mother replied. The days grew longer, the nights grew shorter. The grass grew faster, the flowers grew higher. Leaves grew big on the trees. The little boy said to the puppy and the chicks, "We're growing too." The air was growing warmer. The little boy and his mother. Planted corn seeds in the field. His mother said, "We'll put away your warm woolen clothes. When summer is over, you'll put them on again." They folded up his warm pants and put them away in a box. They folded up his warm coat and put it away in the box. The little boy climbed on a chair and put the box on a shelf. The corn grew. Blossoms grew on the orchard trees. Lilacs bloomed by the barn. The chicks grew taller. The puppy grew taller. The little boy said, "You both grew taller." He said to his mother, "They both grew taller. I don't feel taller." He asked her, "Am I growing too?" Oh yes, of course," his mother replied. Little pears grew on the orchard trees. Little ears grew on the corn. The grass grew still faster. The chicks grew still taller. The puppy grew still taller. The little boy looked in a looking glass. He said to his mother. The chicks have grown taller than my knee. The puppy has grown taller than my middle. I don't look taller. He asked her, "Are you sure I am growing?" His mother replied, "Of course you are growing." The honeysuckle bloomed. The roses bloomed. The corn grew as high as a man. The pears were ripening. The chicks grew still taller again. The puppy grew still taller again. The little boy went along and sat by the side of the barn. He looked at the grass and the flowers. He looked at the trees and the corn. He looked at the puppy and looked at the chicks. He said, "Everything is still growing. I can see they are growing." He asked, "Can I really be growing too?" Summer was growing to its end. The ripe pears fell. 
The days grew shorter. The nights grew longer again. The grass grew slower again. When the leaves grew red and yellow and brown, summer was over. The corn was over. No flowers bloom on the side of the barn. The chicks had grown up. The chicks were chickens. The chickens were nearly up to the little boy's middle. The puppy had grown up. The puppy was a dog. The dog was nearly up to the little boy's head. The little boy looked at the chickens and the dog. You both have grown up. I haven't grown up. I am still little. The little boy said. The air had grown colder. The little boy's mother said, "We'll take out your warm woolen clothes and put them on again." The little boy climbed on the chair and took down the box from the shelf. They took out his warm pants from the box and unfolded them. They took out his warm coat from the box and unfolded it. The little boy put on his warm pants again and looked in the looking glass. My pants are too tight. The legs are too short," he said. He put on the warm coat again and looked in the looking glass. "My coat is too tight. The sleeves are too short," he said. He put on his cap and ran out into the yard. He turned a somersault. He threw his cap in the air. Hey! The little boy said to the chickens and the dog. My pants are too little, and my coat is too little. I'm growing too. The end. Now it's time for a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need your kids' last year's clothes. As well as his or her that's ears closed. Have your kid wear both clothes and help them to notice how last year's clothes provide a way to measure growth. They no longer fit because they are too small. You can also connect the story to your child's life by asking questions such as, "Are you taller now than you were last year? Do you think you'll be taller next year?" How can we find out how much taller you'll be next year? Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, subscribe to this channel. See you next time.